everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here. Happy Hump Day. Yes, it's the middle of the week. Here's your daily stimulus check, second stimulus check, third stimulus check. Yeah, third. Your executive action, executive actions, executive order memorandum, moratorium, and stimulus package update for Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. Four days left in the month. Find out why the $1,400 stimulus check could be more targeted than the other direct Payments. Which states have received the most disaster relief money and stimulus checks during 2020, last year, and how a leading celebrities are pushing for one group of Americans to receive monthly, yes, every month reoccurring $2,400 stimulus checks after this. For the best news and information to master, dominate, and elevate your money, business, and life, stay tuned to this channel. We give away money here. It's a tradition. We're going to give away money probably forever. $1,700 from my account to your account. How do you win it? All you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment. Be picked as a comment when we hit 170,000 subscribers, which we're so close. You could help us get there. Subscribe, like, and comment and you're entered to win. If you want something right now, go down below and hit the Weeble link. You can get four stocks for free. It's a limited time offer. Two could be valued up over 1,600 bucks when you deposit $100. It is fantastic, and thank you so much to my patrons out there who support the channel. Get a free copy of my book, five articles a week, and a look at my investments. But first, some financial experts and politicians believe that the third round of stimulus checks for $1,400 should be more targeted towards families struggling financially. So they don't want to just give the money to just anybody, maybe who doesn't need it. Brett Ryan, senior U.S. economist of Dutch Bank, Dutch Bank, explained, quote, you want to maximize your bang for your buck so to speak. Yes, that would be more targeted towards lifting people out of poverty, right? He continued, quote, you want to target those with the largest marginal pro um, prosperity to consume in order to have those dollars go back into the economy and have the largest impact. You don't want those checks just to be saved. He's saying that savers that have already saved it and aren't having economic problems We'll probably just throw it into stocks or into their savings. That is not going to make it to the economy, which means it's not going to stimulate it. And remember, stimulus is to stimulate the economy like paddles on somebody's whose heart just stopped. It isn't supposed to be something that just goes in a bank account and never touches everybody. Because money that goes in the economy could hit as much as 15 jobs by the time it circulates around and ends up back at the IRS. According to the um, research organization, Opportunities Insight, targeting the checks to lower and middle income families, such as those making under $75,000, would be more beneficial to the economy than giving payments to higher income households. This is true. Higher income, they're just going to buy stocks or whatever, maybe some shoes. Well, I'd love to see all the Americans receive this next round of $1,400 stimulus checks. At least make sure that the people struggling the hardest can get a access to these life-saving disaster relief funds and gives the ability to give multiple $1,400 checks if you reduce the checks that are going out to a smaller group. Just makes sense. You can get Two bangs for your buck. Meanwhile, the IRS recently released data on the disbursement of the first round of that $1,200 stimulus check, announcing which states received the most direct payments and total stimulus funds handed out. Yep, they were like... <laughs> yes. With almost 162 million Americans receiving stimulus checks in 2020. Yeah, that's... 162 million Americans, you're like, hey, wait a minute, we got more people than that, like 200 million more. Well, that's how many people got it. Here's the breakdown of the states that got the most money and the stimulus checks, as well as the states that received the fewest disaster relief funds where people were like, we got no money. What happened? Leading the way with the most stimulus checks handed out is California, with over 18 million direct payments handed out for a total more than $29 billion. Yes, California got $29 billion. 
They've got a lot of a big population, right? They're one of the biggest, that, Texas and uh, Florida, right? Second, I just mentioned it, is Texas. With over 13 million checks dispersed for over $22 billion. And the third was Florida with $11 million checks for more than $18 billion. Can you imagine? That's a lot of money that hit the economy. Which state received the fewest stimulus checks and disaster relief funds? Well, first, it's the state that, and this state has a lot, probably more billionaires than any of them that say they live there. First is Wyoming. With just 282,145 checks for a total of $500 million. Second lowest was Vermont. <laughs> Bernie, you know, with the mittens. Yeah, anyway. Uh, second lowest was Vermont with 343,000 payments for over $570 million. And the third, Alaska, with 354000 for a total of just over $709 million. Yeah, le the lowest. I'm always fascinated to see which state is receiving the most fiscal support, and I just hope that everyone across America can gain access to these vital disaster relief funds. More, some states, because they were lower income states, probably received more checks. It helped more people impact the community than some of the wealthier states as far as money getting onto the streets. Finally, a growing group of influential celebrities are pushing the Biden administration to start a stimulus initiative to deliver monthly $2,400 stimulus checks to mothers in need of financial support. Elisa Milano, Charlize Thurman, and Eva Longoria. And just a few of the celebrities pushing President Biden to push uh, into place a, quote, plan to pay our mothers for their unseen, unpaid labor. Yes. Um, I think I messed up on one of those names. Creating a program called the Marshall Plan for Mothers, quote, it's called the Biden to establish a task force to create a Marshall Plan for Mothers, implementing a short-term monthly payment to mothers depending on the needs and the resources and pass policies like paid family leave, affordability, child care, and private paid equity, right? It'd be a great program. Their website also states, quote, it's time to put a dollar figure on our labor. Motherhood isn't a favor and it's not a luxury, it's a job. The first 100 days are an opportunity to divine our our values, right? That's what Biden's trying to push right now. So let's start by valuing mothers. Who could argue this? Who would say, yeah, no. It, really? Where'd you come from? You came from a mom, right? Okay. This sounds like an incredible program to me as being a mother is one of the toughest jobs on the planet and they deserve to be compensated for their hard work with monthly $2,400 stimulus checks imagine my, I put my mom, I loved her to d death. She passed away. But also, uh, man, I gave her the hardest time ever. Probably the best moments and the worst moments of her life came from little old me. That's your stimulus check and second stimulus check and your executive action and stimulus package update for Wednesday, January 27, 2021. Thank you so much for watching, for sticking around. Please leave a comment with the temperature and weather in your neck of the woods. I can't believe it. I, I, I actually had to put on a long sleeve shirt today in Vegas. Woo. We actually, it rained for like an hour. Huh. Wow. It's rough out here. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Stay safe out there. Take care. I love you.